Hey everybody, welcome to KimmelsIrishPub.com. Got a hot one for you tonight, Suburbicon. Um, I've had this on my list for a while, it's finally available. Um, however, looking at uh, some of the um, numbers on this, my expectations are very low. So, Rotten Tomatoes, 28% from the critics, 24 from the audience. Um, and then IMDB has it at 5.4. So, not very good numbers there. Um, it has Matt Damon, starring Matt Damon, Julianne Moore, Oscar Isaac from Star Wars. Um, and then it's directed by George Clooney. Um, so let me read to you their, um, their synopsis. Suburbicon is a peaceful, idyllic um, suburban community with affordable homes and manufactured lawns. The perfect place to raise a family. And in the summer of 1959, the Lodge family is doing just that. By the tranquil surface mask a disturbing reality. A husband and father, Garner Lodge, must navigate the town's dark underbelly of betrayal, deceit, and violence. A lot of fancy words um, <laughs> that I stumbled on, so I apologize for that. So I don't know, it's set in the 1950s. Um, you know, it looks like uh, the suburbs. Um, I'm not sure what happens, what's going to go on here. Like, I didn't watch the previews, but low expectations I'll get into a little bit tell you what it's all about and tell you what I'm thinking. Alright, so stick around. Hey everybody. Uh, we're at the 45 minute and 24 second mark of Suburbicon. Um, and I thought it was a good time to jump in here and maybe tell you a little bit more about what I've learned about the film. So the it's a Suburbicon is, you know, like the suburbs in 1950s is essentially what it is. There's not much else to it. It does the opening scene there. It's a an all white community, I guess. And in the opening scene, a black family moves in, and you know, so they're not used to it, obviously. So they they act a little strange, but then they have a a petition to um, get rid of them. So I, I, at first, I thought this was going to be a very racially charged movie, um, but that's more in the background. There is, you know, since that part, all they've been doing, they put up fences around their houses. Um, and now they're they're making loud noises and, and like trying I guess trying to drive them out by banging on a drum and things like that and they've been standing out there outside their house the whole time that's really all that's happened but again it's more in the background I think there's going to be more to come on that but that's not what the main plot is the main plot was basically Matt Damon has a wife and a son um, played by Julianne Moore who has a twin sister played by Julianne Moore um, and his wife is in a wheelchair because of a car accident that they had gotten in. Um, and and it, it's really in the beginning, so I'm not, obviously there's only 45 minutes, but I want to let you know what, what it's kind of about. So um, two people break into their house um, and and put them all to sleep. Um, I forget what that's, um, ether probably. Um, you know, put them all to sleep, but then they end up killing his wife. And she dies, too much ether or something like that. Um, and again, this isn't ruining anything for you. I hope not because I think it's going to expand from here. But what it looks like is that Matt Damon was involved in this and has kind of set it up um, because I think he's in love with his sister-in-law, which was the other twin. And um, so, it, and then so like the two other gangsters or the the kidnappers and murderers or whatever the robbers and murderers. Um, are asking him for, I believe, money. So I think it's all set up by him, and that's pretty much the plot so far. I, you know, nothing terribly wrong with this movie. It's, uh, you know, not to give it a 24, so I'm sure it's going to go downhill from here. Um, but, you know, that's the plot so far. It's, it's interesting, to say the least. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's it's not convoluted, but it was a little, I was a little thrown off by how this movie was going. But, uh, I follow it now, and I'm sure they're going to intertwine at some point, and we're going to figure this all out, but you got a better idea of what's going on in this movie, and I'll get back to it, and either check back in or see you at the credits, all right? See ya. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits um, of Suburbicon, and I'm, I don't quite get it. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that I'm not a big fan of dark comedies. I mean, I'll watch anything, but, you know, it's not my cup of tea. Um, and I think that's what this was. I think so. Um, it's definitely a weird, weird movie. It's strange. 
But, I mean, not, I mean, I guess it's not that weird. It's written by the Coen brothers, so I didn't realize that at first. Um, but there's just... So the the main plot, you understand what you get, is kind of Matt um, Damon is basically, you know, trying to kill off his wife because he likes his sister-in-law and wants to collect insurance money. Okay? All right. yeah, I mean, we've seen this plot thousands of times. This one happens to take it, take place in a you know, all white community, and they have this racial thing going on across the street, so I don't get the significance of that. It never plays out to anything. Um, as I mentioned, they're making loud noises and, and, you know, trying to basically drive them out of their house. It turns into a full-fledged riot, almost, and then ends, oddly, just stops. I don't know why. I, I had to actually rewind it and watch it multiple times to see what was the significant thing that caused the rioting to stop but there wasn't anything. Um, so that was confusing on why that whole aspect was in the movie at all. Um, but, you know, so you understand the plot, and then, you know, he had hired two guys to, to take out his wife, and they want to collect money, so they, they come back after him. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's not awful. I, I wouldn't give it, the, you know, the 24%. The I think that's a very low score. I'll probably give it a six, because it was still kind of entertaining. Sure, to, I didn't find myself, you know, leaning towards any character, or you know what I mean. There was no sympathy. The the kid in it was okay, but you don't feel yourself drawn to him or rooting for him. Um, and uh, I don't know. Really, it's a hard one to really comment on or or give my full. You just have to see it, I guess. An hour and 45 minutes, I think it was a little bit shorter than that. Um, but like I said, I had to go back a couple times just to see what had happened there. But it was really insignificant to the movie. I was just curious if, how I missed it. But uh, the rioting stopping. But there's really no significance to the rioting or anything involved, you know, with the, the black family across the street and everybody wanting them to leave. I don't get it. Um, besides, you know, it seemed like a sub-story that might relate back, never really does. It's all really about Matt Damon and everything he's trying to do to, you know, make sure he gets the sister-in-law in the end. It's really all it is, unless I missed it, and there, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, it's a tough one. I'm sorry, I'm really struggling with this. It's a six for me. Um, if you like dark comedies, and you want to do a little brain teaser, you know, go ahead and watch this one. I don't think it's a brain teaser. It's not like you're left at the end like, oh, how did this all happen? There's nothing like that. There's there's resolve at the end of this. There's a conclusion. You know what happens. Um, you know, just to, they just try and, I guess, draw your attention away from the main plot, I guess. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going on and on, and that's not fair to you. Um, check it out if you want. I don't know. If you're into doc comedies, the Coen brothers, maybe it's good. You want to see George Clooney directing a movie? You want to just see Matt Damon? Whatever. Check it out. If you do, leave me comments. Love to hear from you. This one's a tough one. Um, not my cup of tea, but that's it. Kimmel's Irish Pub. Dot com.